Uh, I want to elaborate a little bit more on the move itself. I mentioned some times that it didn't take them very long to, to pick this church up, put it on I-beams. There was seven cross beams, I-beams underneath it, one every 10 feet, the length of the church, which is roughly 70-some feet. And then under those seven was two 80-foot long, large I-beams. And those were uh, then jacked up underneath, from underneath, in place down there where the church came from. And they got it up in the air, then they had to attach the running gear and the wheels. As I recall, there's 64 wheels, about eight axles, underneath this thing to bring it up here. One of the, one of the, one of the points is, in moving this thing, is that they had to have permits from the state to carry this heavy a load on state highways and state roads. And so they had to put wheels and axles under it that distributed the known weight of this building to meet state weight limits in order to get a permit to move the church. They had scales on the axles and on the wheels underneath and that gave them the weight that was on each axle as it was attached to the I-beams underneath the church. They added axles and wheels until each one of those carried a uh, weight that would pass the test for the state and allowed them to get a permit. Now that didn't happen until the day before the move, but they counted on it happening. And they did. So they got the, the permit from the state to move it on November, on June 6th, which is the day they took off that morning. They came off of the old site, past Gray and so forth, and up to the highway three miles east of Manning, down the highway, crossed, and up to here. They had a film company filming this move, Windstar Films from London, England. We do have a, a, a movie of their, it was on National Geographic Television, called Monster Moves. And this church was featured on one of those series on that channel. And in order for them to I guess, get the right film for their, for their documentary. That day they had 15 cameras set up between where the church started out and getting here. They had one in an airplane that took shots from the air of the church. They had, they had them on high cranes, cameramen 100 feet in the air on cranes. They had them posted along the roads in different spots and so forth. So they had lots of film on this little 20 minute documentary. But they got it up here and they got all the film they wanted and they made this documentary. And it uh, did make it did make their series in Europe and the United States. The uh, publicity that day was lacking. We had notified every TV station in Des Moines, Sioux City, and Omaha about this move because it was pretty dramatic seeing this church running down the roads, and all the newspapers in the vicinity, Des Moines Register, Carroll, so on, so on, none of them showed up except 
Carroll Herald, and a couple of local papers to either film it and or publicize it. It turns out that June 6th, the day we moved, was election day. And I, on a Tuesday, and I guess they were all out covering politics. I don't know. But they missed the moving of the church. We know that much. And so, uh, uh, with the exception of this uh, company from England, and uh, it went from there. They did promise to give us all their surplus film, but they reneged. They never did. <laughs>